Another day in the life of a wizard. Toolbox. That means we're having fun. All right. This is a 99 to 03. I'm not even sure what year this is. I think it's 01, 02, something like that. We're tearing it all the way apart. The heads are coming off on this one, so everything has to come out. Fun, fun. All right, just a little while has passed and I have this thing stripped down, ready to go ahead and pull the injectors and then the rocker arms and push rods, and then the heads can come off. Oh, and we gotta disconnect the uh, exhaust manifolds to the up pipes, and then the heads can come off. All right, back again, back again. And we got this thing pretty much unbuttoned yesterday. And what I got left is to pull the injectors, uh, pull the glow plugs, remove the rocker arm assemblies and push rods, uh, high pressure oil lines, uh, fuel lines, there's one here and there's one in the other back corner, and then disconnect the exhaust manifolds in the back to the up pipes that drive the turbo. And then we can pull the head bolts loose and lift these heavy suckers out of here. And then go to the machine shop. Alrighty. We are all the way unbuttoned now with the driver's side head. Injectors are out, rocker arms are all off, push rods are out, all the head torque down, hold down bolts are out. We should be able to go ahead and bust this head gasket loose. Let's see what happens. There we go. One head busted loose. All right. One head removed and out. And that one, I did not see any immediate signs of um, the head gasket failure on this side, but um, even without having that one off yet, pulling it loose, it's uh, unbuckled, all the bolts are out, and I have it broke loose. Um, but when I was pulling the bolts loose, the bolts around the back cylinder, that be cylinder number seven, were all just barely finger tight. So I'm guessing that's what happened. Those bolts got stretched or they backed out or something. And that's where we got our uh, head gasket failure. Hopefully there's no head damage. We'll see. All right, and the other head is off. And uh, I see a little bit of signs of head gasket failure on the passenger side. But most of what I'm seeing is little ports, the flow through passages were pretty clogged and that can sure lead to an overheating 7.3. Well, there we go. These are ready to go to the machine shop.